I am so excited about this episode. My grandson Mark said it was the best day of his life. We finish all the ripping up and we start painting. So stay tuned. It's a beautiful day in the underbelly. Get was started yesterday. They're putting more insulation in and covering it with whatever protects at the under part of this uh, prefab. So that's exciting to me is to have that done. Very excited. It needs to be protected and it was falling down a little bit. So this is good. Muffles your hearing. There's like bug poop. Like little balls from like worms, you know? Yep. No snakes. That's good. No snakes. I don't like snakes. And I hope this is not the toilet. Oh. Hi. I had my that could be the old toilet. Huh? That could be the old toilet. That's not funny. Okay. What do you think? Awesome. Come on out, space lady. All right. This wall right here. This boy is going to try to take out. Wow! Okay, now kick out the bottom. You got it. You got it. Sandals are made. Wow. Good job. That's not the best construction shoe, but you know. I know. Man, it worked. I Look at that. It. Right out. Let's leave my way. Careful. I'm fine. Wow. Good job, Mark. That was so cool. I wanted to be proud of me. I punched a wall. <laughs> you took it out just like we needed. Mark, thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry for talking. This. Mm hmm at the bottom. There you go. Ha! Huh. That's it. You did it. I didn't take much. The top two. Quank it out with your hand. You don't have to hit it. It should just come out. You got it. Good job. Oh no. Uh oh, it snagged you. Job. Is it the best day of your life? Yes, I get to break things. So we, well, what I did is I got rid of a lot of this tile over here, uh, gross rotting wood. This whole, this whole area was full of just like beams and wires and stuff. Now it's all gone. Wall over here is now gone, and the sink. Um, I didn't have the right tools, so when Jay comes with me tomorrow, Saturday then we can do that. 
We ripped everything we could out of the entryway, and it just opened it up. So we puttied it all in, sanded it, and then we painted. This is the entryway. It is now gray. The trim needs to be painted. Okay, that's gonna have doors on it. That will look hopefully different. These cupboards. Oh, he did. So I got the edging done and Jay did the paint. It might need a second coat. It looks good though, huh? Way better than it did. It used to be dark brown. Blah. Where the two sides of the prefab join, we sprayed foam in there. Then we took out all the rotted wood and fixed the spots in the floor that needed it. It really wasn't that difficult. Moved everything out of the kitchen. So we did all the edging. Things like the light switches have to go back on. Now for the walls. More putty and more sanding. Now for the paint, my favorite part. I love this. It's so beautiful and so light and airy. We did have a professional check it out for us and just that pillar had to remain. All the walls could come down. They were not load bearing. This part looks really nice. I like it except for that part that needs fixing, of course, but I think it looks pretty. A little, maybe one more coat on the ceiling. It's amazing. Jay did a great job, but it's uh, all that years of smoke going up there. Huh? We're getting there. It looks a lot better. This will still have some added, whoops, clean up there. Have, it'll have a little piece of wood added that'll be white, but Got all the edging done for the ceiling. Jay's finishing a second coat in the kitchen on the ceiling because it uh, bled through. So, let's see, this will be painted to match the kitchen cupboards, so I got white on it because I could. So, up here, doesn't it look so much better? Oh my goodness, I love it. Made the center beam, beam white. I like it that way. So I got all the bedrooms done. The uh, edging. We'll be moving the lights, like these beautiful little numbers. The master bedroom. We started out with nasty wallpaper. It came off in two layers. A little bit of work. We had to remove flooring that was water damaged. We added insulation, and then Jay created a shelf to add the new wood so the floor would be strong and stable. It's good as new. The right side is puttied, the left side is sanded. This is the texture that we added to the walls, and then we painted. I do, I love it. Even though I used the wrong color. It's white. Mm, and it's good. supposed to be white. It looks good with that. That looks gray over there. Over where? What looks gray? The walls. The blue is so much better. I love it. The guest bedroom had a lot of repairs to make. Then my grandson Mark painted the closet for us. And I did all the edging around the windows and the on top, I still have to, Jay did the ceiling, I believe, in here, but I have to do the edging and all of the trim throughout the house, so <laughs> I've got a lot, a lot to do. But as you can see, it looks a lot different in here. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Started changing out the mirror, uh, misplaced one of my spray paints for silver. It looks like it's going to take two small cans uh, per mirror. And there's three mirrors in the house. So 
It looks a lot better. It was all yucky and golden and uh, dirty and rusty and I sanded it and hopefully this will look kind of new age and uh, old too. So that's what we played with there. The hall before and after. This last photo will tell you a little bit about number four, which is coming up soon. Thanks for watching. We'll have to get all that ready and all of, <laughs> so um, I guess the flooring's next. It'll be great.